Hey guys, Jay here. Welcome to Jan's Battle. In this video, I want to show you how to paint Space Marine shoulder pads. Shoulder pads are deceptively difficult, but I find painting them separately can really help out and let you crank out some high quality shoulders really quick. Once I had the outsides primed, I flipped them around. I'm using double stick tape to hold them, so this will let me prime the insides. Next, even though each will come from a different chapter, I base coated all of the bottoms and insides with Games Workshop Lead Belcher. I'm using my airbrush to save time, but you could also do this with a brush. Then to finish the metal, I gave it a wash of null oil to bring out the vents. Now every shoulder is identical, but it's time to lay on some color. I flip them around again. Then for each shoulder, I'm using two colors, a base coat and a highlight. For ultramarines, I used a darker blue and I prepared myself two highlights. I put down three drops of blue and in the middle, I mixed a little bit of light blue and in the last one, I mixed a lot of light blue. I base coated the shoulders with a dark blue. I took about two thin coats and then I grabbed a small piece of foam and some tweezers and I started stippling on my middle color. This will add some nice contrast and it'll help the shoulder look less flat. Then I used my lightest color, again stippling on because of the shape of the shoulder, stippling is a really nice and easy way to add a gradient. Now to really spice up a shoulder pad, nothing does the trick like a water slide decal. To apply these, cut out the decal you want, place it on a wet paper towel, I'm using my wet palette. Then I rubbed water onto the shoulder, this will help me place the decal on straight. Then I grabbed my soaked decal and slid it halfway off, then pulled away the paper. I poked at it until it was straight, then I took a damp paper towel, folded it a few times, and pressed down hard to get any water out from underneath. And the glues in the decal paper should help it stick down. Keep pressing down until the decal lays flat. You might get some wrinkles, but these wrinkles should press down flat too. Now to paint the trim. For a classic ultramarine, I used some gold. And then for that annoying bit of exposed rim, I carefully added a line of null oil wash to darken this area. Then the ultramarine's shoulder was complete. To do a salamander's shoulder, I started by a base coat of black. I kept this only to the round part. Next, I sponged on some black with a little bit of gray in it. And then I finished off with another sponging of black with a little bit more gray in it. I did the rims with some green paint, and it helped to leave the trim with just a primer so that I can get away with one coat of paint. Then I applied my decal using the same method, slide it on, and use a damp wad of paper towel to press all the water out of it. If your decals are just not laying flat, there is a product called Decal Softener that'll slightly melt the decal but try really putting some force into crushing down that decal. And there you have a Salamander's shoulder pad. For the Imperial Fist shoulder, I base coated with a dark yellow. Then I stippled on more dark yellow with some light yellow mixed in. Then I stippled on more dark yellow mixed with a lot of bright yellow. For the trim, I brushed on some black paints and I painted a line of wash to blend the shoulder and the rim together. And finally the decal. The Imperial Fist one is one of my favorites. I got it to where it needs to be and then pressed and pressed until it was flat. If you look really closely, you can see that there are some wrinkles, but they are so flattened that they'll disappear when the shoulder is varnished. And there you have a Crimson Fist shoulder pad. For the white scars, I started with a base coat of light blue-gray. Then I stippled on some light blue-gray mixed with white. And then a final stippling of some light blue mixed with a lot of white. On the rim, I painted on some pure white paint, and to separate them a little, I painted on a thin line of Null Oil wash. Then it was time for the decal. I pressed on the decal, and the white scars is probably the easiest of the decals to apply of the bunch. And there you have a White Scars shoulder pad. And finally, for the final shoulder, I went with Blood Angels. I base coated with a dark red, then stippled on some dark red mixed with a light red. And then a final stippling of more dark red mixed with a lot of light red. Then I painted the rim of the shoulder bright red. Then I painted on a thin line of Null Oil wash to add some contrast. And finally, the Water Slide decal. The Blood Angel symbol is classic, and the black looks really nice on the red shoulder. And there you have a Blood Angels shoulder pad. Now I have five finished shoulders. I pop them off the paint handles and they're ready to be glued to the Marine's shoulders. We make tutorials like these every single week and if you find them helpful, you might consider supporting us over on Patreon. Over there you'll gain access to some behind the scenes and other exclusive content. Now that you know how to apply decals, you might give freehanding a shot with the video How to Paint Crisp Checkers. Find this video and lots more like it on Eons of Battle. But that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed and as always, thanks for watching.